Hello, good morning, friends. I am Mahesh. Welcome to the world of self learning. Today, we are going to start one series of based on the mathematics. Okay, the series name should be a tricky concept which will improve your current calculation speed up to 10 times faster. Okay, we are going to introduce uh, various uh, topics in this series which will improve your calculation speed. Okay, now uh, today we are starting with the very, very basic topic of mathematics that is divisibility. Okay. We are requiring the uh, we require finding the divisibility of the numbers in various calculations, okay? And that's the fundamental thing we require. All of most of us we know that thing, but uh, we did, don't apply when we are making calculations because uh, it's like out of practice from us, okay? We have learned it very very years back ago and we forgot it, okay? We never applied with directly uh, find whether we make calculation directly rather than going to the method, okay? Mm -hmm. So I will be today introducing that methods or the short course that we know about the divisibility. Okay, so we're going to start uh, from my screen. Okay. So let's go to the screen. Okay. okay, now we will start from the screen. Okay, we are starting the test of divisibility. As you see uh, in my screen, I have written the test of divisibility. <laughs> yeah, I have discussed that topic. Yeah, I will start about the divisibility. Okay. Uh, we have we mostly use the two to five divisibility criteria, okay? That are divisible by two, divisible by three, then four, five, and six, like up to eleven. Okay, we are uh, going to see all of them uh, today. Uh, will be like that. First, we will see the theory of divisibility, okay? And then we will solve some examples. Means has our channel's motto is view the concept, grasp it, and then apply. Okay, so let's go. Okay, the first divisibility is divisibility by 2. By 2. Okay. Uh, when the number will be divisible by 2? Can you tell me? Okay. Yeah, you can speak loudly as you are watching the YouTube. Okay. So, the number will be divisible by 2 means uh, when the number's unit place. Listen carefully. When the number's unit place is either 0 or divisible by 2. Okay. Now we will take example as uh, the number 1, 2, 3. Okay. This is the number 1, 2, 3. Okay. What is the unit place of number? This is the unit place. Okay. I will highlight with a different color. Yeah. That's the 3, which is a unit place of the number. Is it divisible by 2? No. Is it 0? No. Will it be number divisible by 2? No. Obviously, no. Yeah. Now we will see one other, another example. Mm -hmm. That's 1, 2, 4. Okay. Yeah. That's number. What will be the unit place? It's 4. Is it divisible by 2? Yes, it's divisible by 2. And when we divide it by 2, we get remainder as 0. So it's divisible by 2. So number will be divisible by 2. How simple is the divisibility na? by 2? Okay, let's move towards the next divisibility criteria. Which is divisibility by, uh, I will write the short forms, by 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, when you say that the number is divisible by 3. Okay. The, Okay, uh, if we got uh, some number like A, B, C, or uh, let's consider an example where uh, previous example is 1, 2, 3 only. Mm -hmm. I'll say the statement first and then we'll say example. Okay. If we got the number uh, and if we want to find the divisibility by 3, then sum all the digits of the number. Here, listen it carefully. Sum all the digits, individual digits of the number and see whether this sum is divisible by 3 or not. If this sum is divisible by 3, then the given number will be divisible by 3. Now let's see the example. Uh, I have spoken lots of English in past way. Now I will explain this very simple manner. Okay, uh, if we have the number 2553, five, okay, and we have to check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. Okay, uh, I think it's not visible in my camera. Okay, now it's visible. Okay, uh, we have to check the divisibility criteria for this number 2553. Five, okay, it's a huge number. We don't have a time to divide it by 3 by the method and find whether the remainder will be 0 or not. Okay. We have shortcut method. We have to sum all the digits that are individual digits 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3. Okay. What will be the sum? 5 and 5, 10. 10 and 2. Like 15. Okay. Obviously, you know, mm -hmm. it's a simple calculation. Now, divide it by 3. Are we getting any remainder? No. It's 3, 5, 15. So, there are no remainder. So, the number will be divisible by 3. Yes. Remainder is zero. I will write here remainder is zero. This is remainder. This is remainder. Remainder is zero. Okay, and this number is divisible by three. Okay, now let's go move toward the next divisibility criteria. That's 
divisibility by 4. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, my camera is something getting wrong with okay. okay, that's okay. Okay, now we have to find divisibility by 4. Divisibility by 4. Okay, when we say that the number will be divisible by 4. If the numbers, uh, if you consider the last two digits of the number, that digits will be divisible by 4, then the number will be divisible by 4. Very simple concept. We have to do nothing with it. We have to only take a number. Uh, if we take an example of number as 2652, then what will be the last two unit digits? Okay, it will be 5 and 2. Are the digits divisible by 4? Let's check. Oh no, 4 ones are 4, then 1 remaining, 4 threes are 12. So it's divisible by 3. Yeah. It's divisible by oh sorry, it's divisible by four. Means the number will be divisible by four. That's simple thing. Think that the person is telling very very simple concepts, but this kind of someone in the world who doesn't know this concept as well. Or if we he or she knows this concept, he never applies it because he forgotten in his memory somewhere else. Because we are out of practice from this question. This methods, okay. And I'm here to introduce these methods and re back into your memories. To apply it and make your calculation faster. So, okay, now we will move towards the next. What will be the next? Divisibility by 5. Okay, divisibility by 5. Divisible by 5. Okay, when the number will be said to be divisible by 5, either it has units 0 place or it has units place is 5. Now we will see an example. Uh, the number will be, uh, I put a number as 5, 4, 5. Will this number be divisible by 5? Check. Let's check. Uh, based on our criteria, we see that uh, since we say that the digits units place either should be either 0 or 5 for divisibility by 5. Okay. Now it's 5. So its number should be divisible by 5. Let's check. Uh, by method 545 divided by 5. So 5 ones are then 5059 zero, zero, five, zero, five. As we get the remainder as 0, the number will be divisible by 5. Okay. Now Moving toward the next concept that is divisibility by 6. Okay, when we say that the number is divisible by 3, okay, if you want to find whether the given number is divisible by 6 or not, okay, the number given should be, should be, listen here, please, listen, 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 the number should be even number, the even number, and another criteria is it should be divisible by 3. Have you got it? What I say? The number, if a number is eligible to divisible by 6, when it should satisfy two conditions. Either it should be an even, no sorry, it should be an even number as well as, as well as, it should be divisible by 3. Yes. We should get the remainder 0 when we divide by 3. As we see in our, our previous concept, divisible by 3, you can apply this to the for this concept, okay. Means, uh, for divisible by 6, we have to satisfy the two conditions. It should be divisible by 3 as well as it should be even number. Then it should be divisible by 6. Okay. Let's take for one number. Okay. I have one number here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That number is. Uh, let's take 72. Yes. Okay. 72. We have to check whether it is divisible by 6 or. I don't know. I have taken a random number. Okay. Now, as by concept, is it even number? Yes. It should satisfy first criteria. Yes, now we'll check for the second criteria. Is it divisible by 3? Let's check by our previous criteria. 7 plus 2 will be become what? 9. 9 divisible by 3? Yes, it's obviously divisible by 3. So, it, this number is also divisible by 3. So, this number is divisible by 6 as well. Divisible by 6. Divisible by 6. Okay, that's pretty, con pretty good concept. Okay. Mm -hmm. We know it, but we forgot most of the time this concept. So, okay, so uh, let's go to the next one. Divisibility by 8. Okay, now we are moving towards, heading towards the next concept, divisibility. Yeah, I got, hmm. Right, okay, Principle. you are, think that this video is interesting and refreshing your concept, then don't forget to like, like and subscribe to our channel. Okay, because in this series, we are going to, uh, take the concept like very very pretty uh, tricky and concepts. These are the very basic concepts. Okay, uh, we have take because we are going to require these concepts in uh, for, 
for further concept so we are we have taken this one okay now we will go for divisibility by 8 okay okay for divisibility by 8 last three digits are the number should be divisible by 8 okay. if you have large and huge number of 10 and about 8 to 10 digits okay then how are you going to check division by 8 we have to check only last three digits whether it is divisible by 3 8 sorry 8 or not if it's then it's you have a chance that it's got division by 8 okay let's take, take an example of it okay uh, if you take the example as 47472 okay now this is our example 47472 we have to check whether it is divisible by 8 or not we are not gonna do a complete number and check whether remainder getting zero or not okay we have to check for only this last digit okay means we have to check for 472 divided by 8 or not okay just two calculations simple calculation you can do also 8 5 the 40 uh then we have remainder 72 8 9 is 72 so we are getting about zero remainder 459 okay mm -hmm. so we are getting zero remainder that means the number is divisible by 8 and we have concept speaks properly okay now next move to the next okay that is divisibility civility by obviously <laughs> it should be nine yeah for nine we have a similar concept about uh, as that of the three means the sum of the digits should be divisible by nine then it the number will be divisible by nine simple very very simple concept. okay let's take an example um, 10, 89, and then 36. I have taken a random number. Check whether it's or not. Okay. Let's I have taken a number. Uh, see on the screen. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. I fold this paper. It is coming in. Okay. Okay. Now we have a number. How to check whether it is divisible by 9 or not? Okay. Let's sum up the all the digits. 1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 9 plus 3 plus 6. What's it? <laughs> Can you tell me? Yeah, it's 27. 9 9 and 9 okay yes 27 is it 9 divisible by 9 okay obviously we are getting remainder at 0 0 remainder see how the big number and how this is a small number to divide yeah hmm. yes we have to check for only the sum of the digits whether it is divisible by 9 or not okay the last two concepts divisible by 10 is very very simple when the Unit digit is 0, the number will be divisible by 10. You take any number with unit number 0, it will be divisible by 10. But the critical thing and the tricky thing is about last important point, but not least. Divisibility by 11. Let's discuss, that's an important point. Many of us don't know divisibility. Many of us didn't, didn't reach here because then it seems that this person is telling very, very simple things now. Yeah. We know that things, but this is the point they didn't know. I guarantee you, divisibility by 11 is means uh, we never study in that much. Either. We study about three to four divisibility test cases, not more than that. So I'm here with the seven weight cases. Okay, mm -hmm. now it's divisibility by 11. Okay, if we are given number and to check whether it is divisible by 11 or not, then what to do? Yeah, there is a method. There is a tricky. Let's see. Okay, uh, what we have to do if we have a number, uh, I will show my example, it will be very clear to you mm -hmm. rather than explaining. If you have a number, this 1331. One. Okay, what we have to do? We have to add the sum of the digits at the odd places and the sum of the digits at the odd places. Means we have to make two different summations the digits at the odd places, sum one, and sum two of the digits at the even places. This is what we have to do. Let's see here. This is digit at what? E1 place, the first place, second place, third place, and fourth place. This is the E1 place digits. Another word, it's an E1 place. I will mark another color. This is the E. Sorry, it's all place digits. This is all place. This is all place. What will be sum or? Sum or will be what? Sum or. Sum or will be what? 3 plus 1 will be 4. And similarly, sum E1 will be what? These are the E1. E1. I hope you are seeing. Okay. Yeah. Sum or. Uh, sorry, sum E1. It will be what? 3 plus 1 will be 4. Okay. Then what I have to do? You have to subtract this sum or minus sum E1. What do you get? Okay. If you are getting either a number 0 or a number divisible by 11, then the number will be divisible by 11. See. If we get 4 minus 4 will be 0. 
0 is divisible by 11 or, or you can say uh, if we either get 0 or a number divisible by 11 then the number that we have written 1331 is divisible by 11 you can check okay i will show you mm -hmm. 11 1s are very many 2 3 then 2s are 1 then 1s are and so we are getting the proper mm, question means we are having a uh, remainder at 0 yeah that is an important very very important divisibility criteria about the 11 yeah we know all of them but this is the one we don't and we are out of practice of it and we are in most calculations of competitive exams you can take from about from 10th level or 7th level from any standard about from 5th 5th standard to about graduations most of the questions have this number for divisible because it's a simple number it's a most of the time students don't make mistakes so most of the time we see this number in divisible so if you know this criteria, you can solve the question within a few fraction of seconds rather than dividing with the long methods. Okay. Uh, in this video, I have taken the example along with the concepts, but in from the next videos, we will be taking the concept first and then grasping it for some time and then revising on some particular problems comes in the competitive exams. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. You have taken a long time, about 10 to 15 minutes to watch this video, and you come to the end. Yeah, I will be very very thankful for watching this video. If you if you think the, this is the content is right and the person will be provided and refresh your concept, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel and also place the bell button to get the notification of our upcoming videos with early. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video and make discipline because the discipline is the most important thing in the life to make success. So don't forget to practice these questions. Okay, these concepts. Huh, don't see the video and then forward. Do practice. Some details will practice about 10 to 15 minutes. If you do the 10 to 15 minute practice, it will fit in your minds and you will never forward them while calculating. Because uh, the thing is like that when you learn the concept, apply for a short time and then forward. Then you will never apply them in the life. If they are in a practice, it's a little bit practice, then you will be calculating faster, 10 times faster than the current speed of calculation. I will guarantee you that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Chill. Bye bye.